I was referring to Captain Project before because uh, one of the um, outputs uh, of the project, uh, expected outputs, is uh, the establishment of uh, a particular observatory dedicated to the passenger transport uh, in, uh, for the uh, Adriatic Ionian Maritime passenger transport uh, area. Oh, this observatory is um, something which has been uh, um, in a way not defined, but at least uh, discussed in the framework of a previous project, uh, Easy Way project, strategic project, which is uh, going to be completed by the end of this month, and uh, which is one of the three projects uh, uh, on which a Captain project is based. Oh, why uh, the Adriatic Ionian Maritime Passenger Transport Observatory? Oh, the idea is to mm, provide a tool to the institution of this area mainly, and to the decision makers, of course, uh, which can uh, make available some expertise uh, in the transport sector and be at the same time uh, uh, possibly a key driver of change in the Adriatic Union Basin transport uh, policy, let's say. Oh, all this to uh, tackle, to uh, deal with some specific issues, uh, uh, again, related to passenger transport and mobility, um, with like, such as the promotion of a territorial cross-border cooperation, first of all, or trying, of course, to provide some uh, influence uh, on the decision makers, so political bodies, uh, uh, ministries especially, uh, on, but only at the regional level, not only at the national level, who give, uh, provide some influence also in the implementation of the, uh, of the legal framework uh, uh, of the rules uh, uh, which are uh, running the transport sector in this area, and uh, have uh, mm, some proposal from the technical side uh, to the most uh, relevant issue related to the transport uh, sector, passenger transport sector mainly. Oh, specifically, uh, the, this tool, uh, could provide uh, an environment for cooperating, uh, for improving uh, or setting up a joint policy for the passenger mobility, uh, and at the same time uh, making uh, feasible uh, and more visible the Adriatic Ionian Basin as a destination, first of all, but also a place where the mobility can uh, be considered smoother and uh, le with less uh, uh, barriers. Oh, give more importance to the Adriatic Ionian Basin in the framework of the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, we are of course an, uh, aware that we are peripheral uh, and in the most eastern side of the Med, uh, Mediterranean Basin, but uh, we are a very strategic area for connecting the Central Europe uh, countries uh, with the um, um, countries which are fa uh, placed uh, in the uh, southern side of the Mediterranean area. Oh, another issue which uh, can be mm, developed in the framework of this observatory is uh, the standardization of the administrative procedures and legal framework. Oh, the observatory could also provide statistical framework for the Adriatic Ionian area um, and be also, of course, uh, an exchange uh, area for uh, exchanging uh, best practices, again, based uh, mostly on passenger transport. Another task of the, uh, the observatory, uh, which we think is quite important, uh, is to um, monitor the opportunity given at the European level for uh, getting uh, funds uh, uh, for providing, uh, for carrying out studies, research, uh, uh, training, and uh, for provide, of course, uh, a high level expertise uh, on the, the key transport, uh, passenger transport issues. Membership. Who, uh, of course, uh, being a, a an observatory, and uh, uh, first of all, the mm, observatory set up in a, pre in a territorial cooperation project, uh, the first members uh, are uh, supposed to be par the partners of Captain Project and uh, of the previous Easy Way project. Uh, even though, of course, uh, it seems to, uh, um, there are different categories of stakeholders, uh, we are uh, uh, considering a starting phase based on these uh, partners 
and an implementation phase uh, which is going to be uh, more open to other kind of stakeholders. Uh, the various categories of stakeholders are listed here, which ranges from public administration to port authorities uh, to um, operators uh, which are working on the tourism side, of course, and other economic sectors. The legal framework, uh, what we have discussed uh, since uh, the, um, the implementation of EasyWay project uh, and which is also the basis uh, of our um, implementation of the observatory in the framework of CAPTAIN is the, uh, the setting up of the observatory like uh, an uh, European Economic Interest Grouping um, for many reasons, uh, since it's quite a flexible uh, tool uh, easy to set up, uh, uh, which can provide uh, uh, stable cooperation and uh, uh, which uh, mm, has m some advantages, uh, which can you can see here listed. Uh, we are not the first uh, to tackle these issues. Uh, other observatories were based also on this uh, legal framework and it proved to be quite uh, uh, successful. And we would like to achieve this result by setting up this observatory on the, uh, in the form of the European Economic Interest uh, Grouping. Uh, what would be the institutional framework of the observatory? Um, what we would like to have is something simple, not uh, uh, in line in with the, all the directives uh, uh, at the European level, like the one who are ruling or governing the thematic steering groups uh, of transport for the uh, second pillar of the macro regional strategy. So I have something very, um, very light uh, with, of course, uh, uh, very uh, a low level involvement uh, of uh, financial uh, resources. Uh, therefore, uh, what we are thinking is to have a members, uh, councils of members, a managing body, and uh, specifically uh, some thematic uh, technical uh, working tables. Uh, again, based on some topics which we think uh, we will share with all the uh, members, uh, which are uh, providing some uh, discussions uh, on the um, uh, issues related to the passenger transport. Uh, what about the financing? The financing is another issue uh, quite uh, relevant uh, for providing the sustainability uh, in the years to come to this tool. Uh, there are some different kind of uh, way of covering the costs of such a, uh, of such a um, tool, uh, which ranges from the annual fees uh, or direct contribution of members uh, or external sources coming from uh, uh, the calls of of European Union, so getting European Union funding. Um, but uh, anyway, the starting uh, costs of this uh, tool uh, will be uh, uh, based uh, and paid, let's say, by the uh, captain project budget. So the registration, the setting up of the observatory is going to take place uh, using uh, making the most of the budget that we have available, especially informist uh, as project partner directly in charge of this activity. Oh, the captain observatory work plan, uh, you, see, you can see here the, the various steps. Um, we have, uh, uh, first of all, defined uh, some uh, main priorities and goals of the observatory, uh, which were discussed during the kickoff meeting of our captain project. And we are in the phase in which uh, the charter of the observatory has been drafted and circulated uh, and should be uh, agreed uh, um, by all the members which are supposed to be the, uh, the captain project partners. And hopefully by the end of this month, uh, but maybe uh, we will have some uh, slight delays, so it could take place at the beginning of October, we would like to have uh, the registration of the charter and uh, uh, following the establishment of the technical, thematic, uh, operative working tables. So uh, to provide a, a start of the activities of the observatory during the framework of CAPTAIN and to um, establish at the same time some synergies with another observatory uh, which uh, was set up uh, in the framework of uh, uh, the MEDNET project. The MEDNET project was a strategic project implemented um, in the framework of the Mediterranean MED program cooperation program, 
with a uh, RAM uh, Italian uh, partner, like a lead partner of this project. And uh, the, the experience uh, they have in, this, uh, in establishing this um, observatory could be of help, uh, for sure, of some help uh, to the establishment of our observatory in our area. This is pretty much uh, the status quo and what uh, we are expecting to provide, uh, hopefully by uh, the mid, the for sure, uh, I would say, by mm, the final conference uh, which is of CAPTAIN, which is going to take place in Trieste in the middle of November, we would have uh, this uh, uh, observatory uh, set up uh, and uh, uh, hopefully already started uh, working. This is all. Again, any question uh, from your side is very much welcome, and um, I will try to provide any answer possibly. <laughs>